Well, another remarkable week in the cryptocurrency market, but there's a big elephant in the room. The fact that we're still very much in this bull market could actually pose a big issue of a liquidity crisis. Well, eToro is already taking measures, likely limiting cryptocurrency buy orders for users in the coming days and this weekend. Could other exchanges follow and could we see a buying frenzy in the coming days? That's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. I'm Jessica Walker and this is Be In Crypto News. Well, there's a huge issue in the crypto space that needs to be addressed. Are we moving towards a liquidity crisis? With so many people getting into crypto, Bitcoin could be limited with a supply feature of Bitcoin likely to impact and trigger on the market. Well, in this video, I'm going to be covering what to expect, but also help you take some measures and be prepared for what might be becoming. And will a Bitcoin liquidity crisis actually even boost the price even higher? We're going to actually take a look at how institutions are also exposing cryptocurrencies to the mainstream. So if you're a fan of this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Be In Crypto News channel. Now, one of the biggest headlines from 2020 for bringing new retail investors into the space is probably one that you'll remember. It sent shockwaves through the crypto community. We're talking about PayPal with its 305 million users, opening wide its door for retail investors and also its 26 million merchant accounts. Now, it seems it was right that we remembered this news. Just this week, we saw that PayPal actually recorded a daily record trading, volumes close to 242 0.5 million dollars on January the 11th. Now that's near double their usual. Now PayPal's cryptocurrency trading volume actually increased over 950% since the start of the year. Now, even for people who don't care or don't really understand the kind of the properties or the concepts of cryptocurrencies, there's a really high chance that actually they bought crypto on PayPal anyway, based on these statistics that we have seen. So PayPal has been working on adjusting these buy limits following this tremendous increase in service, probably much more than they were expecting as well. Being Crypto has actually reported that a PayPal user got banned for day trading crypto. So it seems that from PayPal side, there wasn't really enough thought that had gone into what kind of transaction activity they would see by introducing cryptocurrencies onto their platform. The whole Reddit thread gives you a lot more information. So if you are on PayPal and you are using the service or you do want to find out a little bit more, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below for you to see this user's experience. Now, this topic connects us to our next topic, which is eToro actually anticipating a liquidity crisis. Now, of course, this reflects from all of these all-time high prices on Bitcoin, Bitcoin being spoke about on mainstream media, of course, eToro has seen a rise in new clients like never before. So it's really remarkable that even a month into 2021, eToro has actually reported having crypto traded volume 25 times higher than the whole of 2020. So due to this increased demand from crypto, some of the media outlets actually confirmed an email from eToro's PR manager that there was a scarcity problem and eToro will likely be limiting users, buying abilities this weekend, following this unprecedented demand for cryptocurrencies that even they couldn't expect. Now, what will be really interesting about this, and this is why we have to take note, if the cat's out of this bag and this news is starting to circulate on Twitter, we're gonna see more people actually accumulating Bitcoin before the scarcity problem is reflected, and it might see more buying of Bitcoin. Now, this does come just one week after eToro announced it would temporarily increase the minimum deposit amount for new users from $200 to $1,000. We also saw eToro CEO Yoni Asia speak on the recent surge demand in a YouTube live stream this week. So if you're an eToro trader, you're definitely going to want to keep a close eye on this. And actually for any other Bitcoin traders, you're going to want to keep a close eye because this could have a huge impact on the market. Well, this situation was inevitable at some point. We're talking about really high crypto trading volume hitting new highs on platforms like PayPal and SushiSwap. It actually comes as no surprise as this crypto bull market continues. Now, honestly, the news coming out today is just remarkable, hence the green shirt, also the green background. We're actually not surprised that trading volume right now is at an all-time high, suppressing this bull run that we saw of 2017. But something that we do have to take note of is the fact that the data is provided by Crypto Compare. Past $11 billion 
Analysts are actually confident that this shows that the bull run isn't over yet. There is more room for it to continue. So this week there was a market report provided by Glassnode and it actually states, and I'm going to read the quote to you now, at the highest point last week, over 1.3 million Bitcoin addresses were active in a single day. Well, this continued to spike increase and indicates an impressive level of new adoption and activity for Bitcoin. And it also suggests the number of market participants in the network may be higher than ever before. So this may mean that the bull run for Bitcoin isn't over yet because of higher volumes making the market more mature, efficient and liquid. Now is this down to the newcomers in the market or is it down to the institutional investors? We kind of know that interest grows at a very fast pace during an extreme bull run. I'd love to hear your thoughts so share them in the comments below. So let's take a breather now and recap what we've covered in this video so far. We've seen PayPal actually exposing cryptocurrencies to millions of users and that has been reflected. We've seen eToro possibly limiting buying orders to prevent liquidity crisis and we've seen the new all-time highs in trading volume and active addresses. At this point, it's really important to stop and just acknowledge the buyer's frenzy. It's Due to the scarcity that we're seeing of the asset, as we all know that Bitcoin is only limited supply of 21 million Bitcoin. So as more and more people want to buy Bitcoin, less and less people are actually willing to sell it. The Bitcoin hodl community and culture is just a little bit too strong. A fun fact for today's video, 66% of the whole Bitcoin supply actually hasn't moved in the last six months, which shows that people are in this for the long run and probably are looking at these real high price potential figures that they might have their own expectations of. Now I'm going to share a chart with you now. Uh, the warmer colors that you see at the bottom of the screen, they actually show the most recent Bitcoin transactions. And the cooler colors right at the top, these represent the Bitcoin hasn't been transacted in a long time. So the hot colors essentially reflect the hot movement, as it were, with the quick pace of Bitcoin. Now what this shows as of January is that these hot Bitcoin transactions increasing, which is really important to take note as we're talking about platforms that are considering limiting buying capabilities on users. Clearly it's shown that this demand and this hot movement is really exceeding the supply already. So overall it just seems very bullish and very optimistic based on the news that we are seeing across media platforms. So we're going to end this video by taking a look at the Being Crypto market analysis as provided by the Being Crypto team. Now, despite this significant increase that we saw over the past few days, it's kind of likely that Bitcoin is just reacting in response to this prior correction that we saw at the start of the week. So rather than the beginning of a new upward trend, we have to look at the market points. Unless we see Bitcoin manage to flip the 39,483 resistance area, but also from the reverse, if we were to see Bitcoin reverse, the next closest support will be found at 29,050 US dollars. So they're the two key areas to take a look out for if you are looking at watching the markets over the weekend. But like I said as well, throughout all the points in this video, keep an eye on any other market moves on the Being Crypto news site. So guys, I do want to end this video by asking you to comment on your predictions for the next week. Markets are moving so fast right now, so anything can happen. Drop a comment in the comment box below. Um, I'd love to respond to some of the comments as well and be sure to check back on on Being Crypto next week for your next news installment.